Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp, and uh, I wanted to show you the ZX Spectrum next. So um, I backed the project on Kickstarter um, back in April 2017, and um, it arrived in the post uh, in I think 20th of April, uh, 20th of February 2020. So. Um, there were delays to do with the keyboard and such, so um, I finally plugged it in, and um, I have also managed to attach it to a capture device, which uh, was a lot of faffing, mostly because the the resolution keeps changing, but it seems to be recording now. So um, this is the the box that it comes in. Uh, it's it's a pretty nice box. There's some kind of pretty pretty cool stuff on the back here. Um, there are some screenshots of games on the back which are uh, really nice. Uh, what is odd is that not all the games are actually on the Spectrum, uh, even after doing an update today or yesterday. Um, my, From what I gather, there's like, uh, my son's been asking to play this Monkey McGee. It's it's not finished. Um, there are some games that are finished, so um, they're pretty cool. And um, this is something I've seen a few people talk about, prepare to fall in love with a computer all over again. Um, and uh, so in the box is the Spectrum itself, uh, a power adapter for multiple countries, um, but also the manual, which I saw uh, some posts about, which uh, is a real kind of um, uh, work of art, but also it's completely in line with the original ZX Spectrum manual. So the original ZX Spectrum, when it came out, it came with a user manual that um, didn't tell you how to uh, turn on and off and so on. It told you how to program the thing. Um, and this book is is awesome. So um, it tells you how to program. It talks about uh, drawings. Um, yeah, there's some graphics in here. Oh, music, how to play music. Um, so this book was absolutely superb. Uh, really, really inspiring. Uh, and I have to admit, when I had it as a kid, uh, I didn't really look at it very much, but this book is kind of a, a an updated version, I guess. So it's it's it has all the programming, has all of the uh, graphics in there. Um, talks about the new API, I guess, for uh, Next Basic, which is their kind of upgraded version. Um, there's quite a bit of detail that I've yet to even delve into. Uh, so this is the registers, I guess, on the machine. Um, so yeah, uh, machine code, using machine code, I don't think I'm going to get into this. Anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. So what I wanted to do is go across the machine. Uh, the first thing that jumps out to me and uh, is the keyboard. The keyboard is really nice, but um, it's not laid out like a, a, a conventional keyboard on a laptop or um, I use a mechanical keyboard, but it's not laid out like that. Um, in particular, the M is no longer over the space bar, which it feels like I have to shift all my hands across. Um, but uh, hopefully this is all working. So the screen saver is currently running on uh, the Spectrum at the moment. Um, and if I go in there, um, we can see, I mean, when it boots up, it gives me a few options of the type of Spectrum I want to use. Um, and I've selected the uh, next version. Um, so you've got this browser here. Um, uh, Next basic is in there, so uh, we can do. Oops, so this is where the keyboard is shifted off. Uh, where are we? Remy, oh, see, I'm kind of missing the characters. Um, 20, go to 10. And uh, what's odd about this is. Um, Oh, the keyboard has all the commands on it, but those those commands only the command keyboard only works in 48k mode, um, which is a little bit frustrating since they're right there, um, but I can't use them. Anyway, so there's some buttons on the side. Let me uh, do things and see if I can. Oh, I think I can edit out. Uh, but it's worth looking at the games, I guess. You know, that's the whole point. Um, I've already put some game ROMs on there from the original Spectrum. Um, and the, the Spectrum ships with these options here. So the next, ZX81 Classic. Um, so let's have a look at the next. Um, Warhammer, pretty cool game. Pretty 
pretty nice mix of graphics. So you've got kind of the original ZX loading screen here with the attribute clash. And then you've got this uh, new modified version, which I thought I'd feel weird about, but it's actually quite, quite cool looking. Remember the controls, I think it's QA OP space. There's some baddies, I'm sure, somewhere. Yeah, so it's a pretty sweet looking game. Um, And um, also the sound is um, is is pretty interesting as well. The um, I I was reading some articles about it, and it says that the sound uh, processor um, has it, it's like three versions of the chip. I can't remember what the chip is called, um, but there is some music on here. Um, Oh, there was one that was, um, let's see if I can find it. But I mean, this isn't what the Spectrum sounded like, it, but it's an, this is supposed to be an improvement on the Spectrum, which is, is pretty cool. I, I get the sense that, like, the Commodore 64 people had this. Um, but it's definitely got the retro feel, but it it's not like as bad as it was in the 80s. I don't want AB. Anyway, uh, can I quit? I don't know how to quit. I never know how to quit anything. Um, the, the the odd thing about this. Uh, machine actually the one thing that's really missing is an on off button if you want to turn it off you just have to rip out the um uh, the power out the back um which is kind of weird yes yeah, so the sounds are pretty cool and from the demos i've seen there is um actually a music editor on here somewhere uh, but i've not i've not yet found it um so um, I put on some of the kind of top games, uh, my favorite game, I don't know how to page down, uh, Midnight Resistance, I loved this game. Um, so I pulled down a bunch of tap files from uh, World of Spectrum, um, and you get this option of how to play it, I guess uh, we're going to do the 128k mode. Um, And uh, from what I understand, you can also like load it so you can hear, watch the Spectrum game load. Um, I don't know where that's configured by, but there's a, there's also this button down the side which is like hitting the um, uh, what's it called the interface, like when you plugged in the uh, the interface board in the back, um, it brings it up so you can do cheat files and uh, screenshots apparently uh, and snapshots so that you can kind of resume the game at that point. Um, that's not what I was looking for. Um, I think I was looking for the the game loading mode. Um, wow, well, let's do keyboard. Oh man, I even remember the music. I guess if I'm running behind this car, it's just running on down. Oh, yeah, I'm crap. Oh, I can't remember how I used to play this. Yeah, I suck. Okay, so, turns out 30 years later, uh, you just get crap at games. Um, so you've got the, I don't know what command line is quite, but the next basic is right there to jump straight into. Um, and you also have the 48k basic, which is what I remember. Uh, and then we've got this command mode, which kind of represents the keyboard a bit better now, so I can do um, print and then 
Remy. And then 20. Uh, go to 10. Oops, what happened there? <coughs> oh, I don't know what I just did. Uh, 20. Go to 10. Oh, I hit the edit key and then run. There you go. That's the extent of my uh, programming memory. Um, yeah, I, I want to try and find it that you could actually load up the the loading method. Um, where is it? Uh, oh, it was here. When the screen comes up, you can actually have it load. Uh, so, um, tape loading simulation. Yeah, we want that. Um, and I guess go. Um, the other thing, I guess, ports on this thing. There are no. Um, uh, there's two joystick ports on the front, um, but they uh, they are nine pin kind of Kempston style joystick ports, uh, kind of the old original um, uh, ports. Uh, I, I heard something like uh, apparently there's a licensing fee with um, uh, USB, so kind of saves them some money. I don't know how accurate that is or not, but um, uh, yeah. Um, then on the left are kind of some shortcut buttons. The uh, reset button is there. Um, there's the um, NMI, which is the like interface button. I, I think I had one of these as a kid, but I didn't really know what I was doing. The things that allow you kind of poke, um, poke the get the 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 memory and so on. Um, there's some random dizzy dizzy crystal kingdom is on here for some reason. Um, which is cool because there's no, uh, they haven't kind of given away the distribution rights on uh, World of Spectrum, so you can play Dizzy. Um, I haven't really looked at much of the other games over here. Um, I don't know what a Z machine is, but it's interesting uh, to look at. Um, there's a there's a full this Porgy thing is kind of a demo from uh, a demonstration of what can be done. Um, uh, I guess let's choose a, a random. I haven't played any of these games yet. Uh, stop the tape. Um, yeah, I mean, look at those graphics. That's not something that you could. I remember seeing in a Spectrum, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. And it feels like there's a lot of kind of remakes, like this, I don't know what, oh, this is, um, Bomberman. Yeah, and I'm dead. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, I guess I'm supposed to blow up the balloon. Yeah. There you go. So um, yeah, so the ports on the back, we've got the power port, uh, HDMI, which I'm plugged into at the moment. Uh, there's a key, there's a PS2 uh, port, which is um, interesting to Google for. You get a lot of PS2, PlayStation 2 stuff. <laughs> um, uh, uh, VGA port, audio out, um, and ear, so you can actually plug it into the tape drive. Um, there are some closed off um, USB ports. I don't, I think that's for the next advanced, and there's this. Digital video debugger, uh, infrared thing on the back. Uh, no idea what that's for, and I haven't found it in the manual yet. And kind of on the manual, the the, the manual is is nice, but it's lacking a uh, table of contents, which means you're kind of guessing as to where stuff is. Um, and in the setup, the 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 like the font size and the te the text is really tight. Um, so. Uh, when I read books, I read them on Kindles and have the font very large, um, and uh, it, it's a little bit of a an old man struggle to read this stuff. Um, but the I had a problem with it booting up the first time, and um, I couldn't find anything in the book because the troubleshooting is relegated to the back, and it's the troubleshooting is quite literally two paragraphs. Um, 
and it didn't re it didn't didn't answer the question I had at all. Um, and I found that found the answer on the um, uh, the specnext.com website, I think it is, um, and um, or specnext.dev. And there's a forum there, and I just am searching, and uh, I found that if you hold down D whilst booting the machine, it'll go into kind of a detect mode and try to detect the uh, the, the video, and that managed to get me back to a reset state. But that uh, I think it is in this re this uh, manual somewhere, but I couldn't find it, um, which I guess is kind of um, one of the one of the failings and benefits that we have now. Like we search for stuff. Uh, when we're looking for an answer, we don't read through a book. But I'm 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 now starting to read this book and kind of interested in showing the kids kind of uh, uh, the hello world of spectrums and um, yeah, so I'm gonna have some fun with it and keep playing, buy myself a uh, a joystick to plug into this thing and uh, mess around with it. And I'm gonna check out some of the games and yeah, cool. It's a it's a pretty neat device.